and join in singing, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. It came upon the midnight clear That glorious song of old From angels bending near the earth To touch their harps of gold on the earth good will to all from heaven's gracious king the world in solemn stillness lays to hear the in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. the Lord be with you Amen. brothers and sisters on this solemnity vigil of Mary mother of God let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Tonight's readings can be found in your gather book, number 898, number 898. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. 
May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the people in equity. The nations on earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. God spoke through his prophets. Now he speaks to us through his son. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had been sent, for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been, as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel, before he was consumed in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. We read that the Blessed Virgin Mary kept all the things that were told to her, pondering them in her heart. We read in this translation, reflecting on them in her heart. In other biblical translations, we read pondering them. Uh, pondering means that we're going to think about it, we're going to reflect on it for a while. We might even ponder things that we might ponder things that are joyful. We might ponder things that are also troubling. But Mary is pondering all these things that had been told her, some of which were troubling, about what would what would become of Jesus. There is a lot to do when a child is born. You know this from personal experience or from observation, uh, that there's many actions that need to be done in order for a child to be born, in order for a child to come into this world. Mary and Joseph had much to do, lots of dreams, journeys to take, but they also had to stop and rest. They were called to ponder. And if you've seen to witness the birth of a child is to exam an example of stopping and resting and letting that child come into your life or doing what's necessary to allow the child to come into your life. When I was about 12 or 13, I found out that my mother was expecting a child. Um, so I remember this very well, that, uh, that one more was going to be, that I had two brothers, but there was going to be one more coming into our family. I had no idea what this really meant. Uh, other than that there was, there was somebody on the way. And this, the interruption to our lives was particularly pronounced to me when we took a family vacation um, about maybe a month or so, a month or two before my sister was born. We went to Washington, D.C. We went to D.C. on a trip, a sightseeing trip, and a friend of ours arranged for us to do a special tour of the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. We knew somebody who was an FBI agent, and he hooked us up with a private tour of the FBI. So we thought, my brothers and I thought this was really cool, we're going to get to go on a private tour of the FBI. And we did that private tour. The day before the private tour, we were doing something else though. We were sightseeing around Washington, D.C., and my mother steps off a curb and sprains her ankle. So we went to the emergency room. Everything was fine, okay, no issues. but. We had to ponder, okay? We had to take a rest. We had to figure this out. My mother was a little upset, but it was, it was, all was good. We went back to the hotel room. We go to bed. Next day is the FBI trip. And I, we get ready to go. And because I am clueless, I am absolutely shocked that my mother is not coming with us. Or if she's not coming with us, I guess, I guess we're not gonna go, okay? There's only, it's, it's one way or the other. Either my mother comes with us or we don't go. I don't realize that there's a third option. My mother gets to stay in the room, the hotel room, for the entire day by herself, which I thought was totally unattractive, okay, at the time. What did I know? Okay. My mother gladly stayed in the room by herself. She smiled, waving goodbye to us. I remember how happy she was saying goodbye to us. Um, but she loved us, but she really wanted that time to ponder. Okay, it was, we knew it was a pronounced example that somebody was coming into our lives. Okay, that my mother was going to be alone with her daughter, although we didn't know at that time whether it be a daughter, a girl, or a boy. So Mary keeps all these things, pondering them in her heart. She reminds us to ponder these things. New Year's Eve is a time to ponder. 
Maybe we stay up a little bit later pondering, or maybe we go to bed early pondering, but it's a time for us to ponder the year that has gone by, to ponder the things that have been difficult, okay, the things that have troubled us, the things that we need to pray for the ability to repent of, to pray for the ability to forgive those who have trespassed against us, to pray for the ability to make sacrifices for the coming year, and to make a New Year's resolution to ponder these things in our hearts. Our profession of faith, the Nicene Creed, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. I believe it's Let us pray for the church in her physical and mystical body, for unity in the church, we pray, Lord, for the salvation of the whole world, for God's divine mercy on the whole world, we pray, for those who suffer injustice, for peace in the Holy Land, we pray, for all those who suffer from illness and need healing, we pray, for the eternal rest of Eileen and Dennis Sweeney, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers and those we keep in our hearts through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. The Lord accepts the sacrifice in your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, Grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the eternal world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring hearts to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Lourdes, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
enthroned above oh Maria Hail Mother of mercy and of love oh Maria triumphal ye cherubim sing with us ye seraphim heaven and earth all round the hymn salve 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 margin our sweetness here below O oh, Maria our hope in sorrow and in woe O oh, Maria triumphal each Rabbim, sing with us, ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound the hymn, salve, 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 Regina.
let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed New Year to all of you. Tomorrow morning, January 1st, we have one Mass here in the morning at 9.30 a.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. As we go forth, please join in singing number 361 in your gather book, Angels We Have Heard on High. Yeah. 